Hello, my name is Julia, and welcome to Cricket. This is the what second day, I guess first actual day, on my new island. I just picked out a name. I took forever to pick out the map, and I'm here and ready to start my first actual day. And Tom Nook is already knocking on my door, asking me for money. So let's deal deal with him. <laughs> Uh, I hope I haven't awoken you abruptly. Of course you have. Ah, I but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes. I'll be here when you're ready. What if I just don't leave? Like, I just stay in here forever, never have to pay any debt, can listen to KK on the radio, and live my life. No, okay. We're going. We're leaving. We're, we're facing facing the debt we're about to be put into. your very own nook phone i wonder if he like uses the nook phone to just listen in on me like as i'm living my life i feel like he would so the bottom line is you'll need all that money to pay your moving fees but with this new service would you believe it it only comes to five thousand miles i'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay the one thing that i am disappointed about with like moving my island is I had like 60,000 miles and they're just gone. See, people say that he's not evil, but to them I ask, if he's not evil, why did he do that evil laugh when he told me how much the money would be? Hmm? Maybe he's not as evil as we make him out to be, but he's scheming something. I already have mail. Nintendo. Lose my number. Oh, this is the mail. Lose my address. It's... Oh, DIY workbench. Can I learn that yet? No? Okay. What should I even do? I'm like a little bit overwhelmed. Not gonna lie. Hi! I'm kind of sad because this is like the only time that like Tommy gets to be outside. That from now on he's gonna be stuck inside in a shop. Let me talk to my villagers first thing. I'm gonna say hi to Rold. Sir, are you here? Looks like no one's here. Okay, let's go find him. It's a lot easier to find villagers when they can't go through the whole island. <laughs> can say hi to Plucky. Hi, Plucky. I don't like you very much. Rolled. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> he's right there. I just pushed him. Look at his little picnic basket. Hi. I'm trying to talk to him. There we go. Yo, Julia, that spot you found for me is just incredible. Thanks. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies, bu -bu buddy Oh, right. I've got something here for you, bu -bu buddy Thanks again for finding me a place for my place. Ooh. Ah, uh, it's probably ugly, but like my first present. Roll is so cute. I can't get over it. Oh, that's not horrible. You know, no, it is. I'm gonna wear it though, because Rold gave it to me, which means that it's worth everything. Every single thing in this entire world. I wanna just kinda do stuff and then collect miles, whatever, but I'll make a custom, uh, not a custom play. I'll write on the bulletin board, because that'll give me miles. Bam! That's beautiful. I really like that. I think that that is gorgeous. Okay, now I'm gonna collect some stuff just to get money. I rolled! Man, I love him so much. Okay, I know there's a lot of people that really like rolled, and I was like, okay, that's cool for them, but like, I don't know, I don't really care. And now that I have him on my island, I completely understand, completely. This man gives me all the joy in the world. All of it. Oh! All of my happiness comes from rolled and that's that's it presents gone now but there'll be another one and when it comes i'll be ready for now let's catch some stuff are you of course the first thing i catch is a black bass the most metal of all fish yeah whatever i want to do campsite villagers i want to do villager hunting but alas just me on this stupid island Picking up weeds to make money. That's really sad. What's he gonna use it for? Drugs? 
That joke has never been made before. So original. Oh yeah, by the way, I've never- this is my first like Animal Crossing game I've played. I've never played any of the other ones. Not New Leaf, not- you know what, New Leaf's the only one. Wild World. I haven't played any of those. This is the first one. Just letting you know. Ooh, Maple Leaf. So like when the update- Ooh! There's a present, there's a present, there's a present. Give me a second. My story is not important. Where to go, where to go, where to go? Ugh. When the update came out, and like when everybody was fighting for Brewster, like with their whole life, I didn't even know who he was. I was just like, coffee pigeon, cool. And so now that he's like in the game, like I think he's cool, but I don't think I have the same amount of like nostalgia around him. So I'm not like as, you know, excited to see him. But Cap'n from the moment I met him in the game. Oh my god. I love him so much. He's the sweetest, sweetest. Oh my gosh. He's the sweetest. That's that's it. That's the whole sentence. He's the sweetest. So Cap'n is my favorite NPC now. Even though I've never played any of the other Animal Crossing games. Maybe that's why I was like, okay with basically waiting an entire year before restarting my island because I didn't really know what I was missing, so I wasn't like the other people were being like, oh, there's all this stuff in the- OH SHOOT! <laughs> I- <gasps> What did I just do? Oh my god. I just unplugged my Nintendo from the wall. It's back. Is it good? No? Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> I just kicked it out. Anyway, um, yeah, so I didn't have anything to compare it to. I, I like, I'd listen to stuff where people were like, oh, they'll just be really mean, and there was all this stuff we could do, and now there's not. But because I just didn't have anything to compare it to, I was like, oh, I like this game. I could build in it, and that's pretty cool. These villagers are nice, except they keep saying the same things to me, which is kind of annoying. But, oh my god, when the update came out, I, I was, like, losing my mind. I think everybody was. Oh my god. Eh? Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna save all these for Blathers and he's gonna hate me for life. Oh! I remembered what I was gonna say. I was gonna talk about my favorite music in Animal Crossing. There's like two songs that I just absolutely love with my whole heart. The first is, um, that, what is it, Shop Closing? The little song that they play like the 10 minutes before Nook's Cranny closes. The first time I heard that I was just like shopping for whatever. And started playing and I thought like some outside music was playing and I was like, what is this song? It's so pretty. And I realized it was playing in the shop and I was like, whoa, because that song is just so pretty. If you don't know what that song is, go look it up. It's it, it gives like Pixar vibes in the best way. It's like it makes you like nostalgic just for the first time hearing it. And also the um, Harv's Island as they're like updated at night. I love that. I don't even know what it's called. But it's like Harv's Island music at night. I love it so much. Like the, from the moment I heard it, it made me feel nostalgic. And it was like the first time I'd ever heard it. Why? <laughs> I keep missing these leaves. So that's like one of my favorite songs ever in Animal Crossing. I'm gonna get this little spot and then I'll be done. I'll sell it all. I don't know, like, if I time travel to the next day, because I'm fine with time traveling, like, I don't have a problem with it. I do want to, like, enjoy, I guess, island life, but at the same time, don't care too much. If I, like, you know, time travel. Because I do really want to go on a villager hunt, but I also don't want to skip that far forward, because I think that's, like, pretty far forward. Also, I don't have any money, I just realized. Okay, so after this, I kind of just like spaced out a bit and just collected a bunch of weeds without talking, so I'll spare you all that footage of me just going around and collecting weeds. There were so many. But yeah, basically, I went around and I tried to collect a bunch of maple leaves, but I failed miserably. As you can see, I just I kept missing every single one of them. I hit Plucky on accident. I don't, I don't really feel bad about that, but just the amount of times I missed was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> then I went around and I just 
like caught as many fish as possible because I'm poor and I need to sell to Timmy and Tommy and also um I wanted to collect for blathers whenever you know he shows up in the game so I did that and then I just like put out all my fish right next to my house because I don't have any storage and and it looks kind of ugly but I need to save like all these fish for blathers so I, I just dumped them in front of my house then I took what was left of the, the fish, the ones that I had duplicates of, and I went and I sold them to T Timmy? Tommy? Uh, whatever one works in the store and buys stuff. I sold, like, um, all my excess fish to him. And then, let's see. Oh, and then I also um, bought some stuff. I think I bought a... I don't remember. Oh, I bought a net, because I think my net broke or something like that. And... I think that was it, yeah. Yeah, I was kind of just trying to get some Nook Miles, and now I have enough to pay off my debt, so I'm about to go do that. Oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees? Very well, you owe me 5,000 miles. Indeed, that is 5,000 miles, and not a mile less. Yes, yes, you're free and clear of debt, living on a thriving scenic island. What could be better? Oh, that wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you, sir? See, he's evil. Like, maybe he's not outwardly evil, but he's plotting something with that laugh. It's... it's... Great. Thank you very much. I really want to play more, but I also am tired of talking. So, I'm gonna wrap this up for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!